everyone. So, after the success of my previous vlog, which was my getting my braces removed, um, I've decided to vlog again. Um, we're just seeing how it goes, testing the waters, seeing if it's a good idea. I know that I am going to be vlogging on both my holidays this year, like daily, sorry, daily vlogs. But I just want to test my camera out and also get some feedback before I do those. So, today in the UK is quite a big day because it's Grand National Day! Woo -woo -woo -woo. Basically, Grand National, if you don't know what it is, and I'm guessing that it's only England or the UK or whatever that kind of gets itself involved in the Grand National. I think it's a very British thing, I don't know. Um, it is a horse race and it's probably the only day of the year where it's nationally acceptable to gamble. Um, it's more uncommon to not gamble today than to gamble, I feel. I mean, I think I've put a bet on every year since I was like, well definitely underage to be gambling, but it's like a kind of thing where you give you know, your parents a pound and they'll put it on a horse for you kind of thing. But obviously I'm 21 now, gambling age is 18, so... Since I was 18, I've put the bet on myself. So, what it is, is a horse race, which sounds very, very dull, and it doesn't really sound like a big deal, but it is a big deal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I never watch horse races. I really don't like watching horse races. I find it quite boring and quite, I don't know, I think there's something wrong with it, but I don't know, it's weird. It's a weird day. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of controversy around horse racing because it's really sad if um, if a horse falls and breaks a leg, for example, it has to be put down. And I would say like a horse every year gets put down, which is really sad. And that's what kind of like why I don't like watching it. But it's just like the day where you do it is a horse race and everyone kind of watches it. I don't really know. It kind of makes me sad thinking. Right, actually, I kind of feel bad betting, but it's just what we do. It's what we've been brought up to do, I guess. My morals are quite loose. Also, tonight it is a charity fire walking event which my friends are doing. I'm not doing it because, not because I do like doing, you know, exciting things like that, like adrenaline junkie kind of things, but I would rather skydive than walk on fire any day. Reason being, I have the most sensitive skin of anyone that I know. I can't, literally can't even walk on a beach if the sun's that hot because my feet just burn and so I just don't see how that's going to work. For me so but I am gonna go and support my friends obviously that's the main thing I need to go to the betting shop now god that's a place you'll never find me except for today so yeah anyway catch you later who even uses a house phone anymore mm. hello bringing me asking me to put a bet on for her Uh, I'm doing it on a online betting thing, I guess. Um, and there's like no instructions on how to do it. So I've had to call in two of my male friends to explain to me what the hell I should be doing. Basically, each way means that, from what I've gathered, if you bet something each way, then the horse only has to finish like first to sixth for you to win something. Whereas if you bet outright, you ha it has to win. But then if you bet outright and it wins, you win more money than if you bet each way and it wins. Because you have more chance of winning something if you bet each way. I'm an expert. This is my bet. <laughs> is that yours, Mum, that's gone? It's gone on the first jump. I've actually had to come away from the race. It's making me feel quite upset. <laughs> the, um... One of these horses fell down and then another horse jumped on top of it. It was really sad, so I'm like refusing to watch it at the minute. And a jockey like flew off and landed on his like neck. So I don't know, it's making me a bit sad. <laughs> so the race has just finished and the horse that fell over um that I was talking about before um is fine, so that made me happier. I put how much I've got on three pound each way for Balthazar King and that came second so I got 15 pounds back I'm rolling it I'm not gonna spend it all at once good afternoon good evening rather uh, I'm just on the way to the firewalk now I'm very excited um, 
Yeah, I'm a bit nervous that everyone that's doing it. Like, I don't know. I would not be able to do it. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> Hi everyone, so I am just getting in bed now. I'm so tired, so tired. Um, basically I went out last night. It was a really spontaneous night out. Like me and some of my girlfriends went to Nando's and then we were just like, should we go out? Yeah, should we go out? Yeah. So we ended up going out and we didn't end up getting in till 5am. So I cannot wait to get in my comfortable bed. I can't wait to go to sleep. But before that, my friend group, like my best friends, we all go to different universities and literally all of us were there. Everyone came back from their uni to do the to go to the firework thing. And I was just too busy like catching up with everyone to to film everything, anything. And also I wanted to update you on earlier that they've announced that actually none of the horses from today had to be put down. Um, none of them were injured. 22 horses fell out of 40 but none of them were injured. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs. I, I'm guessing from this you won't really want to see anything else. <laughs> I've already said that I'm doing daily vlogs in Florida, so that's at least 14 videos in a row. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I feel delusional right now because I haven't had. I'm the kind of person I need at least eight hours sleep a night, and I haven't had it, and I feel delusional. I'm like hallucinating. <laughs> yes, I will see you when I next see you. I have a TMI tag up next weekend, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Bye. Good morning! Today is the day that I get my braces off.